Hey, what's up, guys? Peyton Snape back here again for another Goosebumps Books Diggins. Um, this is um, number 13 out of 62. And the book I just got done reading is Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. Um, oh, and by the way, as you can tell, um, this is the last video for 2015, because it'll be 2016 in three hours now. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just got done reading um, Piano Lessons Can Be Murder, and yes, they did make this one into an episode. Now, this one, I really kind of like. Um, it was very, I mean, there is some different stuff than from the episode. It's basically about a boy named Jerry. I think, I don't know if it's his last name. I don't know. It's really not evil, you know, but. Oh, Jerry Hawkins. That's basically about a boy named Jerry Hawkins. Um, now, the book, it's basically about him, a boy named Jerry Hawkins. He um, moves into this house, this big house. It's like creepy, and um, he hears a. Um, now, and as he's putting stuff away, um, he's, he hears, like, piano music. Um, well, he finds a piano in, in, in the attic, and his, his father is basically like, who, who in the world would, like, leave this in, in this house? Why didn't anyone take it? And Jerry decides he wants to have piano lessons, and every night he hears, he hears the piano playing, and he's trying to figure out who's playing it. And basically, his, his parents are not even hearing piano music. It's basically only, he's the only one that's hearing the music at night. And he doesn't know who's playing it. And he, he's basically trying to find out who's playing it and why. Why, why can't his parents hear it at night? Um, so anyway, he basically gets the piano lessons and... And he gets the piano lessons by this, this guy named Dr. Shriek, who works at a school called the Shriek School. And basically, Jerry thinks um, he's weird because the guy is basically interested about his hands because he's like, you have marvelous hands. Hands. And he, 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 he's just like, what is so great about my hands? I mean, and, and he hears he hears stories about the Shriek, the Shriek School being haunted. And because, like, the building is, like, way out of town. It's, like, in, in the woods. Or not, not in the woods. You have to go into the woods and then out of the woods and you find it. And... And the school is just so weird because you can get lost easily because it's like rooms are basically like finding a needle in the haystack. It's like a maze. Um, yeah, but I don't. I know I'm gonna spoil the book anyway. All right, now the episode. The episode was basically about. Um, yeah, it, it was basically the same thing about boy named Jerry Hawkins. He. He um. <laughs> um, finds a piano playing by itself, um, takes piano lessons and all that stuff, and goes to the shriek school, yeah. But anyway, um, now the difference is, um, the book, now the book, um, Jerry, basically, he finds the piano in an attic. But in the episode, he finds his piano in, in the basement. Um, in the book, there's a winter scene. In the episode, there isn't. In the book, it takes place. There's some scenes where there's a scene where it takes place at a school. In the episode, there isn't. Just a street school. No, meaning like a regular, regular school in the book. Um, oh, Dr. Shriek never went to Jerry's house in the episode, 
Dr. Shriek did in the book. And now back about the school. Um, oh, the ending of the episode was very different. Like in the book, what happened was... Um, oh, basically, um, Mr. Toggle, the um, janitor, um, he gets like, well, not attacked, but he gets pinned down by a bunch of these ghosts that that were in that were in that were basically living in the school, and they make them disappear. But um. In the episode, there is no ghost. It's actually hands. Just hands playing the piano. There's only one ghost, which is the woman that was playing the piano in Jerry's house. She's basically um, making him in the ending, making Janter in the ending, play the piano forever. Like, getting back by like getting even with him for what he did to her. <laughs> that's pretty much it. But I'm, I, and I really did kind of like the book. It was pretty decent. I don't know. I think I liked the book better than the episode. I mean, because like, as I was reading this, it just, I just kept thinking, you know what, I mean, that ups, that Goosebump episode, it could have been better um, if it was like a two-parted episode. I don't know, it, it, it just kind of felt like it would be better if it was two-parted. Yeah. But, yep, so that was um, book number 13. Um, so anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a video on my room tour 2016. So, this is the, like I said, this is the last video of 2015. Happy New Year, guys. So, see ya.